Anubarak, our scouts have just identified three separate armies approaching the Frozen Throne. With Kel'Thuzad having disappeared, and the bulk of my forces still on the ruins of Lordaeron, you need to hold off the invaders by yourself while I am capturing the obelisks. You sound worried, Arthas. Have I caught you at a bad time? Not at all, Illidan. How'd you manage to scrape up your new army? Been raiding the abandoned coasts again? I called in a few favors, made a few concessions. You'd be surprised to see how many special interest groups in this world want to see you dead. I'm sorry to have to disappoint your elf friends, Illidan. But you really shouldn't have attempted this stunt. It'll take more than your three little armies to bring me down. Three armies? Don't play dumb, Illidan. I've already spotted the other two Arthas, armies. this is Kael'thas. My brethren and I have come to avenge the deaths of Sylvanas, the King Anasterion, and all other High Elves who fell before the Scourge. It is long past time you paid for your crimes against our people. When it rains, it pours. <laughs> the Blood Elves, too. Care to take a guess as who the Third Army is? No need to guess. It's Lady Vash and the remainder of the Naga. That is correct, Arthas. This is Lady Vash. I am giving you one last chance to surrender your forces and submit to the sovereign authority of the United Najatar Directorate. Gee, that's a tough one, milady. You'll have let me think for a minute. You know, darling, I think I'll just massacre your remaining troops now and watch you die in agony. How would that be? You vastly underestimate me, my dear. I don't think so, milady. You see, at this point, I am pretty much the King Bastard of Azeroth. And not all of your little soldiers or airships will stand in my way again. So be it. 